Hey guys, what's going on? Adam is Prime, and we're coming at you with, hopefully, I think I'm getting really close, the last episode on how to 5-star Isla Takano, step by step. So what I've got going on over here is I've released the uh, third Cory Thesaurus, and what I want to do with that, as you can see, my cast deck is up <laughs> quite a bit. So I'll, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in some extras. Uh, I should probably double check to make sure that they can handle extras first. Oh yeah, plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and try to beef this out to be like a massive herbivore exhibit, right? So, let's see, who do I, oh yeah, what am I doing? I need to, sorry, it's uh, completely slipping my mind exactly what I needed to do, sorry about that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do it with uh, success rate threes. And then, oh, actually, you know what, I don't need that third one, wasted a little bit of money there. Wow, what is going on right now? <laughs> You know you didn't have to well, at least we got that contract over with. Way you took All right, so let's go ahead and modify this guy out a little bit. Let's give him a different pattern, of course, and then make him live as long as we can. Let's see, what do we have over here? I think the shark will do it for him. Yep. Sounds good. So let's get one more of those, and then I think we're going to go with Edmontosaurus, since we, uh, we're trying to stick to some of the basic dinosaurs as well. Let's mod him out a little bit really quick. I like the way the rainforest looks. I think he's actually already modded out almost all the way that he can go. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Well, he is uh, already, already modified out. Alright, so let's produce two of them. Change the incubation speed into a hatchery capacity. That would be nice. There we go. Alright, so we got a couple more dinosaurs coming into this exhibit right here, which actually, in my opinion, look quite nice. It's been a minute since I've come back in here for you guys. Alright. 800,000 income per minute. Okay, so where am I at? Okay, so I'm right up there. So a little trick that I've learned is that if you have some extra power coming on over here, even if it powers off quite a few things, what you can do is you can come over here, deactivate, and sometimes it'll increase your income per minute because you're not producing that extra power, you're not coming up with that wastage, that shortage, anything like that. So while we wait for that to tick in, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Other than that, you just have to play the waiting game and add in like extra attractions and such, you know. Alright, so bring this on over. Actually, it looks like it hurt the income per minute, so it's going to make a tire fool of me. So uh, let's go ahead and... Uh reactivate this and then just go ahead and wait over time for that challenge so this is another small so I think we're gonna need to do is uh, outage protection and output three this is the same as everyone else yep so we've got all this maxed out wow and that was really quick for the Edmontosaurus let's get him out there I believe he can just kinda live by himself too so that's not too bad oh wow he comes out all slow like hmm been a minute since I've seen this. Alright. Alright, so let's get the other ones out on a queue. And then maybe one more Edmontosaurus. We can go with another Edmontosaurus. Change up a different different texture there. Different way he looks. Alright. So we got Dilos in there. Ceratosaurus in here. Oh, and another massive herbivore exhibit in there doing quite well actually maybe I should uh, make sure to feed them before I forget oh they don't have a live bait feeder in here that's unfortunate Ooh, neither do these guys apparently I was really hurting for cash apparently so alright oh another little tip that some people like to do is just delete the feeders whenever they they get maxed out but I I don't I don't mind I like to uh, just keep them keep them running like that so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start popping in with uh, double double feeders for these guys and then I need to add in live bait feeder for these guys okay okay you rock that contract hard so I'm giving you props uh, wait a second. Yeah, we'll just throw it over here in the corner. What's my dinosaur visibility like on this one? I think this entire area over here you can't see, but that's alright. 
Pretty sure my facilities are pretty good. Alright, so what would I like to put in here? I think I'm going to try for a sauropod, to be honest. I think we could go with a... Uh... Well, let's just double check, make sure nothing else is in there right now. I think we could go with maybe a... Uh... No, that's, that's too small of an enclosure. Let's, let's just go ahead and scroll on through here and see what we can get. I'm trying to remember which... Uh... Dinosaurs we have unlocked at this point. Maybe a Sucomimus? Pretty sure we have a, uh, a Sucomimus by now. Yeah, let's go with him. Give him a nice pattern, mod him out to live as long as he can. Just the same as all the other ones, right? <laughs> Alright, there we go. 142 years, and I think he can have a partner. So let's go ahead and give him a buddy. Oh, three and a half million dollars. I didn't even pay attention to that. So it looks like it's just going to be him for a little bit. He's not going to have a much, much say-so in that. So let's uh, just throw his feeder down over here. Give him a live bait feeder as well. Probably closer over here. Alright. And then over here, I think we're going to need to make a few more dinosaurs to, to cram inside of this exhibit over here. So what is that? That's three Edmontosaurus. What is their social limit? Let's see, right here. Plenty of room. I don't even know why I bothered to check. These guys talking to each other. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, good thing I didn't have enough money for that. I almost produced a uh, <laughs> Sucomimus over there. So I think I'm going to go with a, uh, a Corythosaurus. And another Edmontosaurus, and then probably just fill it up with Struthiomimus, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's give them another way to look as well. Mass production of dinosaurs this, this episode is what I'm hoping for. It's definitely what I'm hoping for. I'm pretty sure I have you unlocked by now, because you have a higher rating than the Struthiomimus. Uh, well, I'm just going to go with the Struthiomimus, just because I'm not sure if it's unlocked or not. Again, let's uh, mod him out with the best things of the best. Plus 28%, it only makes one difference. Oh my goodness. There we go. I know that that's going to be uh, made ridiculously fast. So I'm, I'm all about that. Let's see. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and check uh, what our facility rating is. Okay, capacity. Okay, so we're going to need another hotel. So can I squeeze a hotel in right here? Maybe, but then I won't be able to put any sort of attractions. I might ha might be able to put it in right here, but then I'll have to redo the monorail entirely. I don't know. Or maybe I can just throw it in at the entrance. Yeah, right here. I think that's probably the best bet, so that way everything stays... Uh, pretty well. I'm going to have to get rid of this uh, right here as well. It'll curve back over later. Release out the dinosaurs in the meantime. Actually, he's going to be ready to queue him up as well. Alright, so now let's come back over here and get another hotel out there. Because apparently that's what the people need and what the people need, the people get, right? Terrain restraints. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm glad I'm actually really glad that that managed to uh, to squeeze in there wow that's really weird I don't know why Pfft. look at that what I just wanted a straight line <laughs> I don't know why it curved back around to and into itself all right so these guys are uh, completely maxed out right okay so let's go ahead and add in some more because I know that the, the need is gonna be up do I have an emergency shelter over here I do not. So I'll just throw one right there, literally right next to the hotel. Uh, also, we need to, like I just said, give them everything that they've ever wanted. Another restaurant, another bowling alley if we can. Hmm, where are we going to be able to sneak this guy in here? 
And then let's see another clothes shop. Go ahead and just mass produce this place out. And I'll mess with those settings on in the uh, in the next one. Ooh, what did our island dropping? Poor satisfaction. Oh, I guess I must have bugged out and give. Yeah, there we go. And now everything's back up. That's weird that it dropped to zero percent like that. That's alright. Alright, so now that we're back over here, we're going to need a few more Struthiomimus. Probably go with three more, so as soon as that Corythosaurus is out. Is the Sucomimus ready to come out, though? That is the real question. It's really close. Really, really close. So he's going to need some water. So let's, uh, not <laughs> let's not forget about the fact of adding in some water for him. Honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put some right over here. Nice little pond over there. Actually, you know what I think I want to do? I think I'll just go ahead and throw in a river. Coming all the way through the exhibit. Now, unfortunately, it's a really thick river. So I'm going to need to, like, curve and bend and twist. I don't think it's going to let me anymore. Just out of the simple fact of terrain restraints and trying to build in here. <laughs> oh man, terrain restraints when I'm just trying to add in. There we go. Oh wow, that that looks uh, a little bit awkward from what I was imagining. <laughs> Whoa, okay. All right, I'll take it though. Uh, but now, in the meantime of you watching me fail at creating a river, we have a Sucomimus ready to come out. And I don't have enough money by any means to create another one just yet, especially not the way it was modded out up there. These guys produce like it's not even a joke, so let's keep throwing them in there. As well as, let's see, what dinosaurs do we even have over here? Okay, so we do have some Struthiomimus, Triceratops, and a couple of the Kentrosauruses. Okay, these guys should all be doing fine. So we're going to need to throw in just two dinosaurs to combat victories. Uh, no thanks, I'm going to go ahead and pass. So let's figure out another, another herbivore that I can throw in. See, the only tricky part to this is just trying to remember what dinosaurs I actually have to throw in because I'm trying to keep it on the low budget dinosaurs for you all as well but it's kind of hard to do that I think I might be able to do a chunk kingosaurus I believe he was a pretty early one so I think we're gonna go with that there we go I believe they need two or three but I just hope that they can live through the uh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to let him get incubated, and then uh, we'll go from there. Because I'm not entirely sure if he can handle all of the population here. I might have to just knock him out and sell him. That's not going to be too good. But how's he doing? Completely maxed out. Just could use a little bit more grassland. He'll be alright. Yeah, he can have a buddy, but probably won't happen like that. Alright. Ooh, and look at that. Just hit over four and a half stars. Everything's great here. We, we still just, just need a couple more dinosaurs. We just need a variety. That's it. Everything over here is still sitting above the 80%. The only thing that's low is fun. So I guess my park is uh, completely dull. But that's alright. Can we manage to squeeze any more dinosaurs in here? Ketrosaurus. Might just throw in some Struthiomimus over here as well. I've only got plus 30 on that one. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Ceratosaurus. I could probably throw in another Ceratosaurus. Let's throw in another success rate. Where is it at? Where is it at? There we go. Give him a different pattern, of course. Go with coastal. Yeah, why not? There we go. 
Pretty sip out. Million and a half dollar dinosaur. Just to have him break free eventually and just murder us. Murder us the crap out of somebody. Let's see. Hopefully he's... Oh, he's almost ready. So that's fine. Got all these, uh... All these shopping centers because, you know, that's that's apparently how parks are supposed to look and that's what the game wants. It's so awkward to me sometimes. I think I'm going to go with another Ranger Team scheduling just while we're waiting. And also while we're waiting, we're going to need another power station. Just kind of mass produce up here. Oh, wait. Whoops. I accidentally pressed back on that. I need to connect this. Mass producing some power stations. Fancy path? Yeah, sure, why not? Now that I've got a little bit of disposable income and I can continue out throughout this, um, I think I'll just keep going with that. Alright, I need you to be produced pretty quickly. There's no storms, so I don't have to worry about putting in some storm, storm protection over there. Suko Mimus is doing alright. Every area over here is looking good. Got another Ceratosaurus coming in. See, just waiting right now for uh, dinosaurs to come on in. Alright, population is almost up there, but like I said, he needs a few more. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and chomp out uh, two of these guys. Create a different pattern real quick. And then I'll do this one as rainforest, so that way we can get uh, something unique as well, especially since we're just fighting for variety. Ooh, and we're, we're getting really close there. We're slowly but surely creeping our way up there. Okay, capacity again? Oh my goodness. You're joking. Alright, so some of these have dropped, so I'm going to have to go ahead and manage the staff on these real quick. Losing 10,000 a minute on them. Let's uh, just get it to where it can break even. There we go. Close shop. Max it out real quick. Oh man, close shop. You really lose some money on. I don't know if you saw that or not, but as soon as I changed it to 10 pin with a max staff, it was like, oh yeah, this one right here, minus 20,000. Bowling gets expensive, huh? But the restaurant, you know, you only lose like 10 or so. Whatever. Alright, so we're sitting at capacity needs again, huh? Let's go ahead and double check. Let's see, but we're at... Okay, so we're at five stars with the okay capacity. So I think we're going to be just fine. At least I hope that we're going to be just fine. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to squeeze in another hotel right here. I think I'm just kind of limited to continuing to push all the way back down here. Could probably squeeze one in right here, but then I don't know if I'd be able to make the monorail station able to fit or not um, might be able to fit one here let's give it a shot when we have power problems bad things tend to happen I would prefer they didn't so how about making sure you're a big old power, power problem oh that's right because if uh, you don't have the path connected that means your <laughs> your pylons just stop working entirely Makes sense to me. Alright, so let's just go ahead and end that there. And then, uh, throw in the guest spot. Hopefully you can fit. Terrain restraints, huh? Let's go ahead and just massively level this if we can. Actually, let's bring it out from there. There we go. Mass leveling. Hopefully it gets us to the right spot. Well, I keep getting two different levels, so... Not entirely sure how this is going to work out. Hopefully it fits in there. Hopefully it fits in. Right? Nah, no way. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna, have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that up a little bit whenever I let's uh, so let's increase the slope there, so that way it goes a little bit faster. I can't remember which one makes it go a little bit faster. Oh well. 
All right, well, that was fun, I guess. You're watching me completely fail twice now at building. Now we do need... Now we've just got that really awkward angle. But that'll be all right. Guess we'll walk wherever. Now the best part, connecting the pylons back through and watching the entire park come back to life. Oh, no, I didn't even check to see if it was in the substation range. I gotta redo it now. <laughs> That's awful. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that in the video just so that way you guys can realize how much of a noob I am sometimes. <laughs> complete, complete bad moves all the way around. So the Ceratosaurus is still not ready? Oh, okay. Speaking of the Ceratosaurus. Alright, so I think we're going to release him out. And look at that. We're super close to finishing this. But, because... <laughs> Man, but we're sitting at 20 minutes right now, so I'm going to go ahead and look. The capacity is fine now. I guess it was just trolling me. Well, thanks, engine, right? Let's see, so I'm going to push through. I'm going to see if uh, releasing these two dinosaurs here puts me up to five stars. I just saw my star rating peak up just a little tiny bit from the Ceratosaurus. So I'm really hoping that this will be able to work. Social needs still needs to go up. Two to 12. I think I'm just going to keep pumping that out. Come on, let me let me have it. I'm right there. I'm right there. All oh, this is a pretty much at 90%. Drinks are low now, but fun went up. I don't I don't know how that works. Okay, welfare, huh? Uh, this place oh, and look, there we go. In the Ian Malcolm speech, things. we're at five but stars. No question, you are achieving. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what problems. island you want to see next. I'm probably gonna just continue and go through. And get uh, Isla Pinna, you know, the next island, and then just keep going on and going on. It's going to roll the credits because I think that's, <laughs> don't, you know, technically the final island. What happens whenever you five-star your final island. But there you have it. Thank you all very much for watching. Like I said, uh, go ahead and let me know which island you guys want to see next. Otherwise, I'll just continue on and go to Pinna. And then I'll go to Sorna after that. With that, I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this quick series, I think five or six episodes or so, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, show some support for the channel, support for Jurassic World Evolution, and I'll see you at the next episode or series, however you want to word it. Thank you all very much for watching.